Yep, it's me, Jenny B, and today I'm doing another gel manicure on my daughter who has these lovely, beautiful nails. So I'm just going to give her a little manicure and prep her nails now. I have my dust collector. If you would like to see the review on this dust collector, um, there's a link down below. Um, I used the e-file to which I skipped over because it was <laughs> out of frame. So um, I used the e-file with a nice cuticle drill bit, which is one of the little round balls and um, cleaned up all her cuticles on each hand. You can also use a um, little wooden manicure stick or a little one of those little plastic cuticle pushers and push everything back. That also works too. I just wanted to play with my e-file and the dust collector, you know. So here I am. I'm just, as you see, I am just using my file from the Dollar Tree and just cleaning up the edges of her nails. Um, she keeps them really beautiful as is. So it didn't take much to um, clean everything up and shape up, shape it. So I'm just taking the nail file and shaping everything up. So what, ideally you just want to go one direction with the nail file, but I'm, you just definitely don't want to saw back and forth. So I'm just going gently in, you know, side to side. So, you know, you do what you can. I heard the, the little glass nail files are the best to use, but hey, dollar store file. This one works great and it's not, it's nice. And um, the side I'm using is little softer so I'm using the softer side rather than the rough side since I don't need to um, bring the length down any I'm just shaping the edges up so I do that on both hands so I'll let you take a look and watch that and I'll chat with you in a little bit <laughs> You also want to buff the tops of the nails. So I'm doing it lightly. I'm doing it on the softer side. As you can see, the side facing the camera is rougher. So I am just buffing gently onto the top of each nail. And um, that way the gel polish has a little bit of grit to um, hold on to. Otherwise they pop off really quickly. So you definitely want to rough up the um, nails just a little bit, just gently. You don't want to take a bunch of nail off and weaken your nails. But just a nice little buffing on each of the 10 fingers will do the trick. And now we're on to the second part of the prepping. So we are um, just dusting off all the little dust off the nails. I have my Car Lash um, nail dehydrator, the step one. And I am putting a one coat on each nail, all 10 fingers. This helps get rid of the um, oil off the nail plate and prepare it for the polish. This, all these same steps I do before my press on nails, before any nail enhancement. I do all, the, all these same steps. This is what you need to do to prep your nails so they stay on. Polish, gel polish, nail enhancements, um, press on nails. It's all works the same. So now we have step two, which is the nail bonder. So I'm putting that on one coat on each nail as well. Sometime with nail enhancements, I'll do a second coat, but I'm just doing one coat on each finger just to help the gel polish stick a little bit better. Her nails are in such good shape that any polish nail enhancements, they all, you know, the polish chips off, the nail enhancements pop off, you know, she has good nails, very good nails. So I just put one coat on each finger 
and we will be prepared for the polishing. Now it is time for the base coat. I'm using the Beauty Base Coat. Um, any gel base and top coat that you prefer works well. So I'm doing one thin layer on each finger. Then I am curing each hand for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. And I'm using a Beatles nail lamp that is off camera. All the links to whatever I use in the videos are always in the description block block in the description box down below so for easy access for your shopping pleasures so I did that on both hands cured for 30 seconds and now I got the Beatles gel polish it is black number 895 and I did use two coats I only show me doing one coat because you know it's pretty standard a nice even layer on each finger um, wipe off anything that gets on the skin or cuticle before you put it in the lamp so a nice orange stick, whatever you have, your fingernail, you know, whatever you have to get it off the skin, whatever you prefer. So I'm just doing one coat on each nail and then just double check it to make sure that there isn't any lumps because sometimes there's a lump of gel polish that'll cure and it's just a little funky. So I just clean up the edges. As you see, I'm just using the edge of my nail and then wiping that off. Since it's my daughter, I'm using my nail, you know. So just do that on each hand and then I cure it for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. Okay, now that we have two coats of polish and each layer is of the black is in the um, nail lamp for, you know, uh, 60 seconds, I have my gem glue that I am using. The link will be down below. And it I put a thin layer on the ring finger. And now I'm putting the beauty top coat, a layer over the gem glue. And the, I'm putting the top coat over the gem nail um, glue stuff. And then I'm putting a coat of clear top coat on each of the other fingers. And I do this same steps on the other hand. And if I can talk and get this all out and you can understand me, it would be good. <laughs> Oops. So now I have my gem picker upper, the nice wax pencils. I have this fancy one I got, got off Amazon. And I'm putting a little moon gem decal thing, not decal, it's a little metal piece I'm putting on the nail. And then I'm curing that under the lamp for 120 seconds. So I got a good two minutes going on to make sure that everything cures properly. And I do that on each hand. I have my Trader Joe's Jehovah oil that you can barely see, but you saw the end of the bottle. And I'm just putting that on her cuticles and are rubbing it into her hands, getting her nice and moisturized. And there you go. We're all done. So thank you so much for joining me on doing my daughter's nails today um, with our little moon on the ring finger for a little, you know, a little fun, a little something. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social medias. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.